this is a simple RC circuit and I want to try uh, find the transient response of this circuit the current I and the voltage across capacitor VC when this switch is closed at T is equal to 0 so instead of going uh, writing the dif uh, differential equation KVL equation I will do the I will split the current in two parts just like before I transient part and I steady state part and transient part again will consist of a an exponentially decaying component it will be exponentially uh, exponentially decaying and the decaying rate will be the time constant uh, which is the RC here so the expression will be again similar T over tau just like inductance as well uh, and this one is steady state and I so when the switch is closed what happens physically in a capacitive circuit is immediately after the closure the capacitor becomes a short circuit immediately after it so the current that goes through it is just given by at t is equal to 0 it's given by i is e over r and slowly thus this capacitor becomes open circuit and at steady state it becomes completely open so at steady state when it is iss or t is equal to infinity i is zero that's the capacitive physically that's how it works so if i write here the steady state value it will be zero and this one is e e to the power t over tau and tau for this one will be r and c uh, like as inductance it was l over r but here it will be r c so and the steady state value is zero so this one t over r c now we need to find i uh, we need to find a from the boundary condition which is what is the value of i at t is equal to zero from there so at t is equal to zero the i is e to the power r and a is e to the power this is zero so this part at t is equal to zero becomes one because the exponential part is zero i by mistake in in the previous video said the whole thing is be, becomes uh, zero but actually the exponential term becomes becomes zero and that's why the the exponential uh, the power becomes zero and e to the power that e to the power zero becomes one and that's why a stays there so e to the power zero and a anyway so a is given by e over r so of course the current then becomes i is e over r e to the power minus t over rc that's the current expression for a for an rc circuit uh, when the switch is closed now if we want to find the voltage across the capacitor vc we know the voltage is given by this expression the integration so we can do the integration of the current which is e over r and this one is e trc and when we do the when we this part is the constant so we take that out and when we integrate the exponential it becomes there will be a negative ahead of it and rc will be uh, this part will be on top of so the coefficient of t will be actually 1 over 1 over rc so it will go on the numerator anyway so this one is now integrated it becomes t over rc and then plus the integration constant let's call it c1 because we have one c already now this one this rc goes i will go to next page it goes 1 by c e and r there and this rc goes the numerator because it was like that this is the coefficient of the power t and the coefficient come one uh, one over the one by the coefficient so it goes finally it goes like that so they all gets cancelled and this one they all get cancelled and this one e to the power minus t over rc plus c one that is the expression of vc so vc is now negative e e to the power minus t over rc plus c1 now again we can find this integration constant using the boundary condition so as we saw immediately after the closure of the switch the 
capacitor becomes short circuit immediately after that so the voltage across the capacitor at t is equal to 0 is 0 so at t is equal to 0 the voltage across the capacitor is 0 so we plug that in 0 here this is negative e again this one is this one plus c1 so this is this part is becoming 1 so of course c1 is e so this is our full expression so if we just substitute here vc will be minus e e to the power minus t over rc plus e so the expression finally becomes 1 minus e to the power minus t over rc that is our full expression and this one of course is the capacitor uh, exponentially building up voltage like that initially it's zero and finally it settles up to settles to up to the battery voltage or the charging voltage so yeah that's it so again this one i did without uh, going into the differential equation just uh, starting with the fact that any transport uh, any transient component will be an exponentially decaying component and uh, decaying and it will have the decaying rate will be given by the time constant of the circuit